Hi, I'm Paul McGuire, and I want to ask you a question. Do you really know what's going on in your nation and world? So much information you're bombarded with, but are you able to connect the dots? Is there a mystery that is unfolding before us that began over 2,000 years ago and even farther? In fact, is there a mystery unfolding that began in ancient Babylon? I believe that there is. When we read the account of Babylon in the Old Testament, a city built by Nimrod, who also built the Tower of Babel, and the Tower of Babel was a interdimensional portal. It was a stargate. It was built with occult technology, the same technology that built the ancient pyramids that built Atlantis, which the Greek philosopher Plato wrote extensively about. Ancient Babylon and the Tower of Babel was the world's first one world government, one world religion, and one world economic system. It's when the world became one. But an interesting thing happened in Babylon. God judged Babylon, he confused their languages, and he scattered them across the face of the earth. Why did God judge you know, the world becoming one. Why would God do that? Because God could see into the hearts of man, and he knew that Babylon and the global government, global economic system, and global religion was at its root the desire of man to become God, just like Lucifer tempted Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden when he said, you shall be as gods. Nimrod was Luciferian. He was a Luciferian priest. They worshipped in a modality of worship called satanic worship. This is what Mystery Babylon is about. So God judged it, and Babylon, at least that Babylon, disappeared. But did it really? No. The architects of ancient Babylon possessed and understood very high-level scientific technological dynamics, and they knew how to access supernatural power. Now, they couldn't let the masses know uh, what they were up to because then they would lose their power advantage over the people. So they had to create Mystery Babylon, a secret priesthood that possessed secret knowledge, a genetic advantage, and they passed this secret information from generation to generation, from empire to empire. They passed it through secret societies societies today like Skull and Bones, Bohemian Grove, the Illuminati, that's just to name a few, are descendants of the mystery schools and what happened in ancient Babylon. It was also passed on to Egypt where they had the Pharaoh God King system. An elite ruled the masses and the Pharaoh was perceived as a god. Well, if we fast forward till today, and we look at what's happening at the United Nations meeting coming up in about a week, the world's most powerful elite, Pope Francis of the Vatican, is going to address them, and they're going to meet regarding their plan to radically transform the world by 2030 and create sustainable development in their master plan. So the UN is holding a convention about transforming the world by 2030, and their goal is sustainable development. Now, what is sustainable development? Well, sustainable development, in its bluntest terms, is a con job. It's <laughs> the elite telling the masses, we're going to redistribute the wealth. We're going to take care of all your needs. We're going to create a perfect world. We're going to have social justice. We're going to have equality. Really, the prototype for this sustainable development uh, movement occurred um, several decades earlier with Agenda 21, which was the UN's first trial run at sustainable development. Now, Agenda, Agenda 21 uh, transformed America and many nations throughout the world. Did Agenda 21 produce social justice? Did it produce uh, um, income sharing? Did it create opportunities and jobs? Did it build a better world? I mean, that's what they said it would do. They promised it would do that. And our political leaders on both sides of the party 
got behind it 100%. No. Agenda 21 and the Sustainable Development Program caused manufacturing jobs to end, poverty exploded, uh, um, chaos, unemployment, plagues, wars, food shortages, disease outbreaks, and a lowering of the standard of income of hundreds of millions, if not billions of people on planet Earth occurred because of a direct result of the UN's agenda on sustainable development proposed in Agenda 21. How do you know that? Well, let's look at America. This program was done several decades ago. Now, what happened in America? Did we become more prosperous? No. Did we uh, have better income distributed? Did, did we get rid of poverty? No. We have race riots going on right now, even as I speak. We have seen in the last two decades the greatest transfer of wealth from the poor and the hard-working American middle class. And many of you are hard-working American middle class people. Husbands and wives working two jobs. Husbands and wives both employed. Single mothers struggling to survive. Teenagers getting jobs and can only get low-level jobs. Guys and women that were trained and got college degrees for high-level chains, the best they can do is find a job managing a fast food burger restaurant. I don't see any social progress or uh, building a better world there, do you? I see a sucker punch. I see a con job. I see a Trojan horse from the elite. What happened? The elite, which the media never talk about because they're controlled by the elite, the mass media are controlled by just six corporations who are controlled by the elite. And these six corporations control the flow of information that you get. So many people don't even know about things like the Bilderberg Group and the IMF and uh, the Illuminati and so on and so forth. They're completely in the darkness. They're clueless. This is what happened. In the last decade or two, we have seen trillions of dollars of wealth transferred from the middle class and the lower classes. And now just 1% of the world's population, the elite, 1% control 99% of America's resources and the world's resources. So remember, Agenda 21 in the UN promised us this great new world of equality and social justice and income um, equality, but it delivered the exact opposite. The richer, the rich have never gotten richer. They live like feudal kings and queens, private jets. The super billionaires, like the Canadian super billionaire Maurice Strong, who was one of the leading proponents of Agenda 21, he lives like a king. He owns so many acres in Colorado where he has a new age community and temples. He owns massive amount of acres. Ted Turner owns massive amount of acres. These super elite own hundreds of millions of acres all across the world. So what happened? They got richer. Now, here's the problem. Pope Francis is coming to the United Nations and he's scolding the American middle class. You need to take, uh, give up more of your income. I'm paraphrasing, of course. Middle class, you hardworking middle class, hardworking lower class, you need to, to give up more of your income and share it with the poor. And the globalists tell us this and governments tell us this and the United Nations is going to force us to do it through UN law. The middle class and the hardworking lower class are killing themselves, working long hours to make far less than what they made in previous generations. So what, what's going on here? Pope Francis, the United Nations, the global elite, sustainable development, this new UN treaty and summit, where 2030 they're going to transform the world. And they are targeting the middle class and the lower class, they're taking, they're, they're, Pope Francis and the elite and the secret societies are saying, middle class, you need to give up even more of your income. Well, how does that make sense? 
If they control 99% of the world's resources, and the middle class and the poor only control 1% of the world's resources, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out how um, they got it backwards. They should be going after the uh, elite, the people that control 99% of the world's resources, the 1%. We document in our brand new book coming out, The Babylon Code, we document how this secret plan has arrived. I'm Paul McGuire. You can get more information at paulmcguire.us.